In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily set up an autoresponder sequence so that you can have emails go out automatically on a timed basis. Now this assumes that you've already set up your profile and that you've already set up your marketing emails. If you haven't done that yet, go back and do these steps before setting up your autoresponder. All you have to do is come down into the Manage Sales path and make sure you're working on the correct sales funnel that you're interested in and then the correct sales path that you want to set up. Now we'll come into a status point. And remember, everything is triggered based on status points. Now there's only one status point available right now, so we'll just set this up at the start. In other words, as soon as someone is added to this funnel and to this sales path, this will trigger the autoresponder to start immediately. So now we'll just add the task, click the icon. So now we'll come in and we'll select the task that we want to have performed. In this case, we're going to be sending an email. Now we also want to send it as an auto email. There are two ways you can manage emails. You can either have them sent automatically by the system, or an email can be a task assigned to someone and they'll need to send it manually. For our purposes, we'll want to send this automatically. And now we'll select a profile and then a piece of content to send out. We'll keep it at the status point of start, and I'll put a 30-minute delay on having this email sent. In other words, after somebody gets to the status point of start, the system will wait 30 minutes and then send this email. And now you can see that I have one email in queue ready to be sent when somebody gets to the start point. Now because I want to have multiple emails going out at the start point, I'm going to add another task. And again, I'm going to follow the same process. And I'm going to send an email. I want it to go out automatically. I'm going to use the same profile, but of course I'm going to send out different content. Now the other thing I'm going to do is put a different delay on it because I want it to delay one day so it sends one email when they first join and then have them receive an email one day later. Again, I'll hit Submit. And now you see that I have two emails that are going to be sent out sequentially and automatically. This is the basic foundation of creating an autoresponder sequence. You add it to a start point, or you can add it to another point that you add to your status path, or you can do a combination of the above. With the Premium WebCart CRM, it's not necessary for you to trigger the autoresponder immediately. You can also look at this as a multi-autoresponder sequence triggered at different points of your sales path. For example, you might have a sales call that you want to take place before you trigger the first autoresponder sequence. So the first task would be a sales call. When that's completed, it would index to the next point. Then you would have your autoresponder sequence fire off four to five emails. And then you may have another sales call that is made by your salesperson. Then you might send out some documentation or some literature. And again, the completion of those tasks would then trigger the sales path to index to the next point. At that point, you could have another mini sequence of emails that go out automatically. If you look at the sales path as a multi-function, multi-system sales process, you're guaranteed to have a more effective sales process than just using one technique at a time.